Welcome to another episode of Tactical Tuesday, where we are continuing the clash at Borosovka. We have Russian tanks acquisition primed on those Panzer IVs, ready to pop them off. Hopefully, we'll be able to kill those tanks this turn. What you will see during the game, snippets on the screen will pop up. Charts will pop up on the screen. These are charts that were adapted from Neil Ulan's SK charts that he made specifically for SK. I think they are absolutely fantastic. You need to check them out. They're either on the Facebook server. If you can't find them there, come to the ASL Skills Discord server. They will be there. If not, join the Skills Discord server. The joining, the link will be in the description below. So with those charts, you can follow along. Watch us as you're learning. Learn the to hit charts. Learn the modifiers, the ranges, the ammo types, the movement points, all that stuff. Great charts. Can't say enough about them. Now, in continuing the game, we're, again, learning the different things. I encourage you to increase the speed to 1.5 to 2 to enjoy it at a faster rate. That way, you don't have to play exactly along with us. When you see a spot that you're interested in learning more about, slow it back down to 1. We'll catch you at the end. Enjoy the episode. We're up and running, gentlemen. You may resync with me. Wow. That was pretty crazy. Okay, so we've got Russians, turn two, rally phase. We have no broken or shocked units. So there we go. So in rally phase comes, comes and goes, because we don't have any rallying to do. Prep fire phase. Since the motion guys have difficult, will have an extremely difficult time to hit anything. I'm going to forego prep firing my tanks. Well, uh, remember, you well, uh, actually, the rule is is tanks in motion cannot prep fire anyway. Uh, right. Well, yeah. Right. Well, they'll go to the yeah. They'll they'll fire in the in the uh. Well, I think if they if they fire, they'll have to end their movement anyway, right? No, they cannot. They they're in motion. They cannot fire during the prep fire phase. Okay. Yeah. So, so you so an, an in motion vehicle has to has to pass the prep fire phase, go into the movement phase, has to expend at least one movement point to stop. Yeah. Then they can. Fire. Right. Right. So. But, um, but then they suffer all the the bounding fire penalties. Then, right. That um, would be. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Essentially, they'll be bounding fire regardless. They just won't have the motion penalties. So the motion, but, for the most part, a, the motion yeah. penalties will never apply during your turn. Because if you're moving, then you're just gonna be subject to uh, moving penalties, right? You're not gonna have the doubling of the lower die roll until the motion marker comes on you, right? That doesn't come on you until after you've stopped, your, your, after your movement phase is over is when you put the motion counter on it. Pretty much the only time your motion penalty was, will apply is when you defensive fire on the enemy. Because Mark says you can't prep fire them, so your those penalties won't apply in the prep fire phase because you can't fire. They'll only apply during your opponent's turn during his defensive fire phase. Because well, no, because if you if, yeah, all right, so if during the movement phase you you are you 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 as the tank you are still in the process of moving you haven't expended a stop MP right and fire then you are still in motion you still have to double the lower die right the that's but that's but if if you start moving then you start stop then you you can essentially eliminate you're eliminating the counter yes you're it, not right yeah you're stop, not yeah fire, and you don't have to double the lower die right yes, that is. Yes. Right. So right. you can you you can eliminate that in the in your movement phase, but Correct. in the other fire phases you're pretty much screwed. So, but but you still, but you still take the bounding fire. Pass. Yeah, yeah bounding boy, which is about half. It's a it's the doubling of the lower die rolls which kills you. Yeah, you skip the doubling of the lower die, but you still yeah. take the case fourteen. Yeah, penalties. that's that's yeah. that's it. of course if you roll ones, then it's really not going to be that much of a difference, especially against other tanks. Right. So, so there you go. <clears throat> All right, John, uh, you watched the, the scenario last week. You Both of your tanks have acquisition on two of the Panzers. So um, I'm, I'm done with, all of us are done with our prep fire. Your two tanks are the only ones that may prep fire. And remember, you got- Okay. Uh, I'm gonna 
prep fire the one at uh, G8 right here against uh, this one right here. Uh, it's basically the same uh, math as last time, except I've got, uh, I'm going to be using AP rather than APCR this time. Uh, line of sight goes through, uh, let's see, I think one, one, uh, should go through the one hindrance. Um, one, one hindrance for the out of season uh, orchard. Yeah. Okay. So I've got a uh, plus one there. Uh, base uh, two hit is uh, an eight vehicle target type. So where's my little chart there? Oh, yep. So you've got, um, and actually, so um, the modifiers are the hindrance, right? Acquisition. Right. Yep. Plus one for the hindrance, minus one for the acquisition, plus one for buttoned up. Right. Nobody's moving. Everybody stopped. So all okay. those moving modifiers are out the door, and that's essentially the only modifiers we have to hit so just plus so one I'm at eight uh, plus one right now right okay rolling to hit a four will hit. I get a hit and it's a hull hit looks like yep okay so i've got a hull hit and on the panzer four that is a five two six eight armor Yep, six. So I've got a 13. So I need a seven to kill. Well, seven will equal your to kill number. So hopefully you'll roll your seven, then something interesting might happen. A 10, and nothing happens. But okay. so what happens to your acquisition marker? It goes to two. Okay, what can you now do? I can uh, track that thing. No, what else could you do? Intensive fire. Correct. Because you have two acquisitions on that particular tank, it might be his last shot. I'll give it a whirl. So what would you need to hit in this case? Uh, an gonna... eight. Right? No, six, six. Okay, right, because we got we've got the same modifiers as before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus one button up, plus one hindrance, right? Intensifier mm -hmm. plus two, so it's plus four to hit. Because the counter, I mean, the counter has it right on it, which is great. Breakdown is decreased, which is bad, but we might die anyway. And yeah. we have a minus two acquisition, so we're essentially one less likely to hit. So you need a seven to hit last time. We need a six to hit this time. Okay. Rolling to hit. And that will hit. And I got a hull hit again. So, and nothing. Okay. okay. Now hold on. Oops. What What was it to kill? To kill uh, was an eight. Seven. Right? Look at your AFE destruction table. Okay. Okay, everyone take a look at your AFE destruction table. The final effects dice roll was what compared to the to kill die roll? To kill number. To kill number was seven. We rolled an eight, correct? Yes. So look at the first column on final effects die roll on the bottom. What do you see? None HE is one greater than final TK. Okay. Possible shock. Right, so, so possible that, shock. right. So we got a possible shock on this gentleman. So he needs to take a normal morale check. If he fails a morale check, then he is considered shocked. So even if you miss by one, the kill, you can still affect him. That's cool, okay. Ah, Mark screws over. <laughs> Now, uh, 
the question comes is the so the eight was the to kill on the collateral i don't know if they have the ap collateral damage effect. well it doesn't really matter per se with the ap because if your ap is low enough to affect him then he's going to die so, so it would have been yeah, it was a two, yeah. So it's a two attack, so that would be both a twelve and a ten on the two. So it's yeah. no attack. So and that's Flatter. where that's where the he makes a difference in that sort of aspect, where the he, even though you can roll something moderate, it will still land on the chart. But as your AP equivalency is really bad, your AP pretty much has to kill the tank. It's really not going to affect anybody else in the area unless. You need like a one to kill, you roll three, then, you know, but that's, come on. So he intensive fired, and now you have another vehicle, and he is, he has acquired the tank on the bottom. Yeah. He has acquired the tank on the bottom there. Let me label him, uh, yeah. There you go, boom. Okay, shots from uh, G6 to uh, V9. Range is 15. Uh, base uh, two hit is eight. I have a one acquisition. My uh, tank is buttoned up. Uh, no hindrances. I think it's a flat eight. Right, so those are wash. So this is the two hit roll. Got a hit. On the turret? And, uh, White over red, hitting the head. You're right on the turret, so that's going to be a six. So that's going to be. I need a seven or less for a kill. <laughs> okay. Any no worries. Time. Okay. Uh, so his act goes up. Same if the situation applies. You've essentially got potentially four shots coming on those two or three tanks over there. Um, yeah. Yeah. That might be your only option. I'm going to do it. So, <coughs> so this is going to be a uh, seven two hit. If I remember right. math correctly. Yep. Yeah, it'll be a seven hit. All right. No hit. And what okay. else do you have on those vehicles? Excuse me. What else do you have on those vehicles that you can use? Uh, machine guns. Correct. Correct. Machine guns. He is he is crew exposed. Yeah. Uh, range is 15. So uh, go with the last one I just did. So that'll be uh, both in the covered. Wait a minute. What's range on uh, bow machine guns is eight, correct? Correct. So your total okay, firepower so would be three. Um, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why three? Uh, if you combine them, it would be three because there's two firepower for your coaxial because your four would be halved because it's out of range as well. I thought that was 16 for the coax. No, uh, coax no, 12. is 12. 12. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so three. I understand that. Okay. So I, so just, I was just looking to see if you had another target for your bow machine gun, but the tiger is out of range of the bow machine gun. Yeah. So... Well, so Except in theory, the both bows, I mean, the, the, the bows are, I think, close enough to this guy. So you could take like a couple of one shots. You know, you could take a couple of one shots on this guy and then take a couple of two shots on that guy. Right. But um, the uh, the two fight, the coaxial machine gun, if he if he if he manages to stay alive, he'll lose his acquisition on the bottom unit. Oh, well, there is that too. Yes. Yeah. You are. So, yeah, you have to fire at the same target. You're right. So, yeah, yeah you definitely want to, you definitely want to maximize. Well, again, he, he can, he can miss just like we do, but if he hits, it's going to hurt. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you still have machine guns from both tanks that you can use on your uh, respective targets. Okay. I'll be using uh, both machine guns on the, <clears throat> we'll see. The super low, two plus two. Okay, yeah, two plus two. That's on the IFT, correct? Correct. Nothing. All right. And the bottom one, it's going to be uh, the bottom machine gun is just totally out of range, isn't it? Because it's uh, it, yeah. range, range was eighteen, and this would be sixteen would be max range for that. Well, the bow machine gun from G eight, G eight down here, 
Uh, this is 15 yeah. hexes to here. It's going to be a one up three. Uh, you could roll snake eyes. I mean, you've got nothing else to fire, and your bow machine can can. Your bow machine gun is out of range for that guy, right? That's how much that that's. Right. That, that that's what I was talking about. Right. So the, the okay, bottom, got it. Yeah. That, that's going to be half you. firepower, though, right? That's okay. 17. So that'd be a two plus three shot over here. Okay. So that's what's going on over there too, and nothing. All right, so. just by one. Not bad, not bad. Okay. All right, so um, that that's it for our prep fire, I guess, because we're all motioned and everything. So we're going to go on to our movement phase. Um, let's see. He's targeted first. Those guys are targeted first. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Um, all right. Who wants to move? Does anyone want to move first? I'll try. Okay. You've got the motion guy down below. That's cool. Yeah, that, that's that's the only guy I'm going to be uh, tempted to move here. All right. So, uh, uh, one, two, let me see if I can... Okay, what Delay of 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and stop on 17. OK. All right. And again, I'll be a stickler. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Technically, you have to expand. You, so you, you're, you're moving I8. When you move into J8, you say, I'm expanding uh, 16 to go there. Then you can stop at 17. Okay, my mistake. What? So <laughs> given that, now let me back it up one. <clears throat> Was I in J7 or? I am on it. Or an I8, right. So that, so at yeah. that point, and you'd say, all right, I'm going to expand. At that point, I guess you were at seven or at eight, eight at that point. I'm not exactly sure. There's right. a one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess it was six there. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So six, and so then you would announce. So you, when you move into J eight, you'd say sixteen. Right, ten MP, sixteen. Okay. Ten MP, and then you'd say. Okay, so given that, does anybody want to take a shot uh, with me at uh, I eight? Well, sorry, right. uh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna pass. Uh, <laughs> all right, that's okay. I only want to shoot at the the tanks that have already got acquisition online. All right, cool. Okay. Uh, yeah, but that means that we still have right. I'm probably on, right. So my panther, my, my panther. Yeah, that'd be nice. Uh, <laughs> my uh, yeah, my panther four. Um, yeah, he's going to fire at the target that he's got acquired. Um, um, and my tiger is 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 waiting is is waiting to pounce. And um, he's not going to pounce at this guy because um, because a questionable line of sight. Um, how about the and and obviously my other my my other Panzer IV is 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 way off in the distance. He doesn't have this line of sight. So um, so the question would be is whether you know either of these two vehicles want to fire. So my thinking here is the Tiger probably doesn't want to because I'm not worried about him as a moving target. And I'm not sure if this building is going to be a line of so probably not probably not a line of sight problem. I think I'm going to I think I'm going to shoot at the stationary targets and let this guy move. Okay. Um, the one thing that you do want to be if, if you did fire on this guy, um, you would have to worry about your tiger tank being a hindrance. True. Yeah, that's correct. That is something to you know. That's your point. Yep. So. 
Um, <clears throat> oh, all right. So yeah. So I guess uh, I guess you're free to finish your move into J8 and stop for 17. Good deal. Okay. I've completed my move to J8. I am stopped. And who's next? So what can you do then, John? Uh, I'm going to say, oh. Can you fire? Yes, I can. I can do a bounding first fire shot. And I'm going to go after that one right there. Okay. It's going to be infinitesimal, so nothing. But I do get the acquisition. Oh, no acquisition on bounding shots, John. Oh, that's right. My bad. That's okay. That's okay. But you can fire your machine guns as well. I thought that's what that was. Oh, okay, but that's okay. All right. And you can fire no, your no, no, no further actions at this time. Okay. Very cool. All right. Uh, anybody else wants to move their tank next? Okay. I'll move my guys. Uh, top unit, C-17. He's got that covered. So we're going to do this. We're going to go one. And this motion here is gone. Two to uh, three to W-8. Um, is that, is that, uh, that's right. That's a uh, brush, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Two, two, two MP, yep. Three, four, five, six, and then half MP, which would be eight and a half, be 14 and a half right there. So what do we do then, gentlemen? Bog check. Bog, bog check. Bog column. So looking at your bog check status, we're looking at a dice roll plus a dice roll modifier. So what modifiers will I have in that bog check? Um, you are a you are a low ground pressure vehicle because of your box up in the upper left corner. Correct. So you either normal nor high, so you don't have to add those. Correct. Um, you do have to add plus three because you are entering woods or building at half MP. Correct. So if I entered at full MP, what modifiers would I have? You would have um, no modifiers. No modifiers. So if I started adjacent in T9, and if I started, if I expended a start MP and expended all to go in S10, that would still nullify the entering woods at half MP. That's considered all. Even the start, move, stop, or motion i guess you could stop i think you could consider yourself stopped as well but even though you're expending one movement point to stop start here and you have 16 technically it's not all but that's all that would be in that would be the move that you would need to make in order to avoid the plus three modifier so i would need to roll a nine to not bog or less than nine correct less than nine right okay yep. yep an eight so i'm not bogged and I'm right there, so that was one, two, three, four, five, six, fourteen and a half, fifteen and a half, uh, and we are going to we're going to turn our turret at fifteen and a half, and then we're going to stop for sixteen and a half. Still, I missed something. Where, where, where did we get the half? Uh... Um, because I, uh, I had to expend half of my movement factors or movement points going into S10. Since I have 17 okay. movement movement points, got it. Got it. Eight and a okay. half. So you yep. got to keep the fractions because I could have potentially gotten on the road and used that half as yep. one more half. Okay. So unfortunately, there are no trail breaks. So um, the other vehicle may have to just kind of like suck it up. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, there's no trouble. Like two cars hit. Yeah, so I don't really want to take that shot from that guy, but that's a that's a that's a that's that's going to be a clear LOS to that location. I don't want to move there. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and half. 
uh, eight would be 15. 15 and a half. And he will bog. Eight. No, he's, yeah. he's got 16. Oh, so he's got 16. Yeah, straight right, up yeah. eight. So he will bog on the dice roll of 11. Yeah. Uh, and he was... Not and he was normal ground pressure, not not um, not right. low. Pressure. Yeah, because so, yeah. because if yeah, if you look at the, if you look at the counter, he doesn't have the little box that the seventeen does. Oh, hold on, he doesn't have the box that the seventeen does. Right here, he has nothing there, so it's normal. So it'd be a plus one. So he had a plus four total. I wouldn't need to roll a seven or less to get rid of that, but that's fine. That's the choice that I made. My guys are up there, and neither of them are in motion. When you bog, you expend all the rest of your movement points if you bog. If you immobilize, you still have your movement points left over. So if I were immobile for whatever reason, I would still have other movement points to expend by dropping smoke or whatever I would be able to use my movement points for. But bog, you're, you're, you, end, you end your movement. Yep. You and, smash uh, and congratulations. Yeah, that's okay. But we got through, so kind of high risk. But hey, that's what we're here for. All right, gentlemen, we got the five uh, five guinea pigs in the middle. Or I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll take these two, and you take these three. That sounds uh, that sounds better. Okay. okay. All right. So he's got an acquisition from that guy. So yeah. That's not a good thing. No. So, so what this would you team. want to do with him, John, to really screw up his acquisition? I want to get behind that building. And this is A. I think I think I think your A is your tiger, right, Mark? No, no, that's this no, is the, that's that's from down south. Yeah, yeah that's I, my acquisition. But if he goes to N three, that line of sight will be blocked because I remember how close it was to get to M three. Right, that's right. Yeah. So you want to what you want to do here, John, is you want to go to N three. Mm -hmm. His acquisition will stay into M3. He will not lose acquisition, but it will stay in M3. So if anybody else moves on Hex, he could pick him up. And then what, what benefit does that give you, especially against other tanks that are in your LOS right now? When you move to N3. So you leave his LOS, right? Yeah. So you could do a number of things. Uh, if you want to try to engage, you could then enter a lo another location where in which you could fire upon another unit. Or essentially what I'm thinking is, if you go here, if you want to just move around or move away, if you want to move here, then you want to move back over here. Move to N3, you're out of line of sight of everybody. Then you mm -hmm. could turn, oh, then you could turn your tank and then go CE, right? Mm-hmm. Because if you go CE, uh, is that B? Yeah. If you go CE, then you could use the road movement rate. And then you could then go back the other direction. And that would be one movement point right there. So tell me what happens if he decides to fire upon you into M3, just for, just for an example. So you go to N3, then you go to M3 at half a movement point. What are the modifiers for this guy here on that unit? Wow. Uh, obviously going to be... Uh... And anybody can chime in on this too, but if you, but, but we'll go through it. So what, what would be the advantage of doing that? So you're looking at um, target-based because he's going to fire on us. He hasn't changed, but his target has changed. So you, all you would really need to do is look at the target base to hit dice roll modifiers. It's going to be a, going to be a plus four uh, modifier case 24 because it's less than uh one movement point in the fire's los correct right correct that's kind of what you kind of want to try to take advantage of whether you go here whether you go that location or you pop in here and then let's say you want to pop out this direction and get behind this woods or something like that right because when you pop out here then the then the tiger in the back in the back right top right will then yeah. have the same modifiers against you mm -hmm. and so even if you go the half movement factor then you can like z you know zip zip like one that's two 
and that would be three. So the best he's going to get is a two movement points in your in his LOS for that for this particular unit. Guys over here, this guy might have the same thing, but if you end your movement there, then he can just fire on you later. But that's kind of what you need to do in terms of abusing those uh, modifiers. Another thing you could obviously do is do what I did, and you could just plummet your way into that building. In case you want to get a shot, you can go here in case you thought a shot was here, or you could plumb it here in case you have a shot over here or here. So what what would the benefit of you being in here give you? TEM. TEM. Now the TEM applies on the to hit. So you'd be moving plus two, plus two for TEM. You'd exp be expending eight movement points in that location, so that wouldn't come into play. But the same essentially the same plus four would apply and then you could like stop or well you you could technically do like like mark says you can go um you can leave yourself nine movement points from that hex so if you're here you can go uh seven right just say you're using seven to go in there and then eight to go into there and then one to Good stop start. for future firing yeah. opportunities um you don't have a lot, but you do have some, if that, whatever plan you want to choose. But those are the movement options that we're kind of looking at and perhaps any other option that we may have missed. So um, just, just, just for this guy in particular, the, simply because he has the option of jumping out of LOS and then re-entering LOS and doing funky stuff, either jumping into good, good terrain or hiding or running back around the woods, uh, whatever he decides to do is your choice so all right so um with that go ahead and uh perform your action i just wanted to make sure that you you understood those different actions with that particular vehicle okay thank you um i think i'm gonna do the barn crash uh action so that would be seven. Yep. Okay. Technically, take off your motion counter. Yep. You are the vehicle, and you are you are the moving vehicle, so you're never okay. in motion. Yep. Got it. Okay. So uh, he just went into the building. All right. So yeah, now. So this is when I need to do the bog check. Right. So what are your modifiers so, for the bog check? Plus three for entering a uh, wooden building at half MP. That's what I've done. And I am a vehicle with uh, normal ground pressure, so that'd be one. So that's adding four. Correct. So uh, eight or less, I'm still good. Well, eight will bog you. A seven or less will be good. Yeah, because you, it's your dice roll plus your DRM is greater than or equal to 12. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We just rolled. Just roll other. Roll. Just other. The, the top two. Okay. So you're bogged yeah. as well, which is okay. fine. Not a big deal. We're going to be stopped anyway. You're not going to be moving right there anyway. That's true. Yeah. yeah, good deal. Okay. So now let's see. Um, all right. But you are still. you you. Now, now, for firing, for me firing on you, for example, the German firing on you, you are still, I believe, technically considered a moving vehicle. Yes. Right. He has right. entered right. another hex. Still until after your advancing fire base, in which right. case you are then you're to stop vehicle at that point. Um, um, so, um, all right. So, I, uh, well, obviously, um, the only, um, I have no line of sight to him at the moment. So my yeah. So the 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 uh, the um, eastern flank, I guess, has no line of sight. Um, um, how about um, how about you, Steve? So if I were to take that shot from uh, V nine. Okay. It, yep. It would get the. He would have the. Uh, Moving target, but he spent a lot of 
He didn't expect a lot of good factors, so it would just yeah, be yeah. Two. yeah, it'd just be plus two for you. Yeah. Plus the plus two for the building. Yeah. Hmm. So it'd be a four, and you're probably what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you're um, six and twelve. So your base is a nine. So you need like probably like a five, five to hit him. Um, right now. Yeah, I'm trying to decide if I want to take that shot or if I want to try for one of these other motion vehicles if he's going to come any further down that road and get maybe a little bit better shot. Um, well, that certainly is likely. I mean, um, you know, he's, he's got to he's, he's got to expend, um, you know, one MP, you know, at, at a minimum, even if it's just a stop. OK. And at which point then you. Um, uh, you just have to take the motion penalties. You won't take, you obviously won't take the TEM. And mm -hmm. um, he's been in your line of sight all along. So he just said, so it would just be the plus two for the, for motion. So you'll almost certainly, for him, you'll probably need like a seven to hit. Um, yeah, I'm leaning towards waiting for that shot, I think. Okay. <laughs> all right, so no fire. Um, John, since you're in pretty decent terrain, um, well, you obviously could bounding fire now. You won't gain acquisition. Or since they're probably not going to fire you now, whether they, they're not going to take the shot now, so you might as well wait for advanced fire to at least try to get acquisition on somebody. And that's what I will do. Yeah. Since they didn't fire now, I mean, whether they fire now or later, I mean, they might get rate of fire. It might make, it might make a minor difference, but that's that's very minor. So... But your bog won't affect your uh, your opportunity to attack. Now, again, if uh, you have you have more units in your no. frontal TCA right now, but uh, when you moved in there, you could you could move your turret, uh, well, at, at at with any expenditure. So when you stop, then you can also move your turret there in case. But if you move your turret to the bottom, you're going to restrict your fire to against one target. Whereas if you keep it where it is, you have at least two other targets available to you right now. So, I plan to keep the turret aligned with the VCA. <clears throat> okay, sounds good. Now, your other units? Not a whole lot of good options. Okay. What's your okay. what, what's your plan with them? Let's let's figure out where you want to go with these guys. We Looking can... at how I have to get past these two tigers, I basically want to turn around and go back off the western edge of the board, but uh, it's probably considered bad form at this point. Uh, that's uh, all right. So, so let's assume we might, we might let's assume we might lose these tanks on the left hand side, right? It's yeah. possible that we're losing all three of these tanks. Mm -hmm. um, in that case, uh, we either want to, since none of those guys are destroyed yet, we might want to try and destroy some guys. And how do we do that? Is we, we force one guy to make a decision. So um, this guy has got acquisition on somebody, I think, down here. So yeah. this, this guy's in hot water. Mm -hmm. So if we can use these tanks, what we can do, theoretically, is we could have, the, you can move these tanks just up just a little so like this guy can't see him from there uh this guy might be able to see him and that's right down his line of sight and this guy could probably see him as well so like essentially if you line up shots and the big the, the big tiger up on the upper right has got the same mm -hmm. sort of approach as well um so that's going to be it's going to be pretty rough there but if if the point is is to try and destroy a tank then we want to get as many shots on it as possible. It looks pretty rough on the bottom because he's he's going to outgun us in a one to one battle since he's going to fire first and prep fire. So um. So that's that's pretty rough. The tiger up here is kind of a pain in the butt. If he wasn't up there, then um then I'd say you know you might just squeeze up in here and have just both of you park there so you could fire back at this unit uh, next turn or the advanced fire phase or what have you. 
um, or do the same thing against this guy. But this Tiger uh, is kind of making a tough decision for us. He's just going to have to miss his shots. And again, the same thing. I could bring these other two tanks up, up at the upper left behind you and do the same sort of thing, kind of park behind the building and isolate one tank and just pop mm -hmm. one tank at a time. But uh, a lot of open ground, that kind of makes it difficult for the tank battle. And I'm not the best tank commander anyway, so... But uh, that's kind of what we're looking at. If you want to preserve him, by all means, we by all means we could charge this sob upper right upper upper top top top. This guy's yeah. pretty much isolated. Uh huh. So I've already got two tanks in his LOS right now, and he automatically has acquisition on me. So if if you could swing up on the left on the top hand side, we can get four tanks looking at that guy at the end of this turn, and he's going to have to make a decision. He might get one or two of us, but most likely we'll pop him. And then the Tiger's by himself against six tanks. Well, five and a half. This guy's bogged. <laughs> so that, that's another decision he'd have to make. And then if we pop that guy, then the Tiger will have to start. Hopefully roll his 11 or 12 <laughs> and get go. screwed. Because the Tiger can't cover that top of the building. He can't cover anything north of that location. So... Uh, the choice is yours. If you want to, if you want to go bonsai into those guys, that's fine. If you want to, if you want to try and rush and try and at least pop one unit before we all die, then I'm good with that. Whatever choice you want to make is, is I'm good to go. I'm good to go. But that's my plan for these guys. I'm going to move these guys up. Hopefully, get within 12 hex range, so so we can get a little bit more kill. So we use our PCR since we're moving anyway, and then just hopefully get some good shots on them. Hell, I might go to six. I don't know. I might just jam them forward. But move away. Do you want me to move my guys first? I can move my guys first if you want to. If you want to make a decision. No, I uh, I like the idea about going after the northernmost uh, Panzer IV. So uh, basically, I'm gonna do a button hook and start coming up that way. Okay. So, uh, what side of the? Well, I'm gonna be on the north side of the woods because I want to be outside of the. Yeah. Well, the side of map is kind, kind of ugly. Kind of ugly. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So, starting uh, this tank, he he was in motion. All right. In motion. So I am going to uh, stop. So, yeah, I was just getting ready to ask this question. So he changed vehicle cover to arc for one Correct. movement point. Correct. Yep. You. Yeah. So still in, he'll probably still be in my line of sight for the vehicle down in V nine. That is correct. He is also in almost certainly. Uh, God, he better be. Uh, he better. He's in line of sight of the of the tiger. Um. Now. Um. As I would probably prefer the tiger to fire here, because the tiger. Um, the tiger is not going to be able to fire on this guy. Which tiger? The tiger on the hill? Yeah. Tiger on the hill. Yeah, the Your tiger, tiger. Okay. is him, but can't hit him. Okay. okay. Um, so uh, at least he better. God, I, I'm hoping my line of sight judgment is 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 better than it was last turn. Um, mm -hmm. um so yeah, so as I said, the tiger can hit this guy. And um, and so I'm thinking that the tiger should fire at him. And then if you want to fire at this guy, that I would think would. Um, that makes you know, sense. And if, let me ask this question too, since, mm -hmm. so if, if let's say another target doesn't present itself to this guy down here in V9, yep. if he shoots at the bog vehicle in 04 in the defensive fire phase, all the same modifiers essentially would apply. Correct. Okay. Yeah, correct. Yeah, because he's um, actually, yeah, a bog vehicle is still considered moving. He entered another hex, considered chart, moving. Right. Yep. Okay. okay. I just want to make sure that that, that is, in fact, right now. He's so basically, st yeah, he's, he's a stopped stop vehicle at this point. He is a stopped vehicle, which eliminates penalties from us, but he entered another hex, so therefore he's a moving vehicle. Right, he's a moving target. Yep. Okay. So, yeah. So, um, All right, yeah. so far away. So if another target presents itself, then yeah, then you can still you, you can still fire at him in the defensive fire phase. Gotcha. Right. You know, okay. 
and you, then you can fire again. Um, but I am, for the moment, probably thinking that um, um, now that still is, as I said, that still technically is his front armor, but um, but I've still got an eleven. Um, oh, I'm saying. Um, With your tiger. Yeah, the tiger. I'm just trying to think. Technically, your tiger, if your tiger hits, he's going to shred. That's he's a, he's a tiger. That's what they're yeah. Yeah, but I'm just trying to see. Technically, I've also got it, this is what 43, right? This uh, is 1943, right? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Technically, you have I do have um, um, composite rigid or discarding sabbat or whatever. Yeah, one APCR. Yeah, yeah. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's at thirteen hexes. Not that much of a spread difference, but actually, that's still your front armor. So even an 88L, it's not a guaranteed kill on your on your um, you know, on either one of them. That's true. So, um, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to, but it is a slightly better shot. So I'm going to go ahead. Um, considering I'm not uh, considering I'm not facing Joseph Stalin twos or anything like that around right now. I think I will. You know, you're the best armor, so I will fire. Um, APCR at you. Okay, from the tiger. Yeah, from the tiger. APCR. Okay. Yeah. Fifteen hexes. Uh oh, good. I got the line of sight. I did judge that correctly. Fifteen hexes. Yep. Yeah. So. Uh, so yeah. Oh, actually, that's the point. Yeah, that's the minus one now. Minus one comes into effect. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. yeah. It is. All right. So I get a better chance of better chance of killing slightly better chance of killing you if i hit you but slightly worse chance of hitting you eh, well i called it so right um i thought it was 13 uh, yeah even 13 wouldn't have mattered so, right. all right all right i guess i'm not listening all right so we're gonna go ahead and all right so plus uh plus two because you're a moving vehicle plus one because of the of the apcr at 13 hexes right uh, um and it is 15 and 88 German, 88L, I need a nine, so I'm gonna need a six to hit you. How many uh, How many uh, movement points have been expended in your line, of, in my, your line of sight? Been in your line of sight since the beginning of the turn. All right. So, so it's considered, yeah. Yeah, you have to be, you have to leave this line of sight or be entering his line of sight. Since you started the turn in his line of sight, that rule doesn't apply. Uh, and that's okay. why, and that's why the discussion of uh, bouncing this unit out of line of sight to re-enter resets that. So if you started from here, I think that's a line of sight to the tiger. I'm not sure, but if you started going up this road, then he can just fire on you with good modifiers like he has now. But if you bounce out and then re-enter, you'll get those bonuses, and sometimes it okay. makes all the difference. Got it. Okay. But yeah, it's a good question. Good point. Good point. So, uh, so base nine, nine plus three. All right, six. Um, I've got a whole hit on you. Uh, you're out of APCR. That'll be a non-shot. Yeah. So all right. So I will mark myself as. Oh, that's right. Actually, you're right. I am out right now. So I did not have APCR. So I have to roll again. Do you see that, gentlemen? He yep. rolled a six. That's normally what he needs to hit. But since his APCR depletion number is five, he's considered out of ammunition and not have fired. If he rolled a five, it would have hit and would have been his last shot. So now he has no APCR, but now he's considered not to have fired, and he essentially fires AP right now. Yeah, which I'm going to do. Right. Uh, um, right so let me just uh, label myself as. Actually, it's easier to hit now because it's not APCR. Right. Yeah. So now it's a, now it's a nine plus two. Uh, yep. All right. Same roll. So I hit my base is at uh, fifteen hexes. It's only twenty. L is uh, is twenty, so twenty Oof. minus eleven. I need a nine kill. All right, I got a kill. Okay, boom. So we just wreck him. Yeah. Good try. He had at least uh, First he had to take two shots to take that. Wow, that's good. That's all right. All right, John, second vehicle. <laughs> I did so well with the first one. That's all right. Um, you got him sweating. He was sweating. <laughs> okay. One. I think he's out of my line of sight there. I think 04 blocks that. Uh, that may be a point. Uh, yeah, I guess that technically doesn't count as as moving through the woods. 
right? Oh, okay. That's a good point. He's right. leaving so, it. Yeah. Yeah. So he's probably, yeah, he's probably out of, you know, let me see. Yeah. He's probably, you're in what, B9? Oh, yeah, yeah, B9. Yeah, so. Bottom right. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Still tight L LOS. I mean, you, you, you might have it, um, but. But remember, I am pretty close to the world first judge of this thing, so you know. So you'll have to you'll have to decide, you know, Steve, whether you think you've got the shot. It's close. You know, you can decide to wait and try and just go for go for a cleaner shot on a target you know you've got, or you yeah, right now. Now I'm gonna wait. I think I think it's gonna clip the building in 04. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I agree. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, changing uh, CA right. two. Sounds good. Three. Four. Now, now, now the, here's a situation right here is if you think you're entering his LOS and if that's the last location you want to be at. When you enter W1 is where you want to expend more movement points to enter that hex. And so therefore, when you enter, let's say you want to end your movement location in that location. You want to end your movement in W2. Since you're at four now, you essentially would have to burn the rest of your movement points in his line of sight. If you expend your movement points in W1, saying you moved one, turn covered arc, and let's say you expended... Um, uh, so it'd be two, 13, yeah, it'd expend so like 13, like 13 or whatever to have two left over. Then you'd go one and then stop. So therefore you'd only be two movement points in his LOS. If you wanted to stop at that location. So do you, so do you see that? Do you see that, that, that concept what's going on there? I do. I do. So the, I think the hill blocks it right there. Uh, but V2 That's might be tight. I don't know. Um, actually, uh, I think you got a couple hexes. The, the woods are woods are gonna protect me there. No, so. I'm thinking that I'm thinking the hill. The hills the hills is big obstacle that he's looking at right now. I yeah, think I you're clean. I think U threes you're actually clean at. I don't think he's got a line of sight until we actually get into the uh, middle of that board. To be honest with you, for you for your for your yeah. tank. So take your best guess on that. Again, you can use whatever method you want, but um just 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 to, re to reiterate about the expend expending of movement points of your vehicles, people, you can burn them beforehand. And then you can then at that point only have what you just want to to end up in that hex. And that's the technical usage of uh, expending your movement points. Okay. So, so but anyway, that's just where I, before you want to move any more and say, okay, I just want to do 12 and stop or something like that, or, you know, that, that you have to take that into consideration. So. Go ahead, John. I just wanted to again stop you there for just for a second. Okay. Uh, this is the dilemma. I mean, it's like yeah, you know. I mean, well, I mean, right now though, I think for the um, for the Panzer IV up there, since he's got the acquisition on this guy back here. Yeah. I'm probably thinking, you know, um, yeah, that would be too close for me to take take the chance on right there. I mean, that's that's like. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. John, I I honestly. I honestly think if you hug the woods, you can. Um, I, I, I'm, get, I'm thinking about possibly getting. A, you could burn the whole way up there. I think there. I could get to about here. Oh, you could definitely get there. You won't be able to see him. We want to be able to get our shots on him later on because he's going to take a shot on me. But it's all wherever you want to go. Again, because that tiger could just roll up on you and blast you because you're not going to do anything against the tiger. Um, yeah. So um, up to you on that one. But I think the woods is completely clear. I actually think R4 is probably clear as well, but you could dip down to R3. But once you reach the P305 range, you're looking at units on the bottom that could turn and shoot. Those guys might have some quirky LOSs, especially the guy in Y2. He'll have an LOS to probably one of those hexes in, in that central area there. So yeah, okay. But um, but but that, again, you could set up for you could set up for this guy. You you could you could park up here somewhere. You know, if you take an LOS, at least you're out of his covered arc. Yeah. And that'll be, you know, movement points as long as you like expend everything but here and then you go one and then stop. 
you know, you'll have LOS to this guy, and that's going to be only two movement points in his LOS, like in P4. I, I know Mark doesn't have LOS to you in P4, but you have LOS to this guy in Y2. And he's going to have to change his covered arc. And you, you could pick on this guy if you wanted to. Okay. But your again, the choice is yours. The tiger me... is just a, a bad thing. So. Yeah, I'm. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm uh, four to right here. So, uh, changing a uh, covered arc again. Five. Six. Seven. Uh, you stop it. Hold on, stop at seven. Stop at seven, okay. All right, so the question is, is again, we'd have to do this kind of like, you know, where, where in fact do I actually gain line of sight? So, um... Now, he can do something cheesy here, people. Oh, yeah, I mean, there are things that I could do. Yeah, There's some I mean, cheesy I, things you can do in this situation. All right, well, so, for example, I could fire my bow machine gun. Um, and that would, while it would have no effect on him, it would certainly let me know whether I've got line of sight. Sure. Take a shot. Uh, that, that's, that's one thing that I'm thinking of. I don't know if you're thinking of anything else, too. <laughs> that's, that's a primary. The, the machine gun is the primary one. Right. Okay. Um, yeah. So, um, you know, especially since you are, you know, you're, you're buttoned up and I'm not thinking you're going to go see me in the near future. You know, I can certainly fire the bow at you, and I don't lose my acquisition on the guy in the back. And that would certainly at least let me know that I've got a line of sight moment. But then would be, do I want to take the shot then? If I take the shot then, then we have to kind of backtrack your trail and go, all right, when did I, in fact, gain line of sight? And if you're literally just coming into my line of sight there, do you have four? Right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now, I think that's a 12. So that does kind of slip me, you know, well, I'm still a nine to hit, you know, um, you know, that's not really going to change for the German. I think the German pretty much got nines at this range, yeah. you know, you know, for, for the rest of the game, you know, so that's, you know, five or six. I'm going to let you, yeah, but as I said, I can't tell whether that hill is just really inconvenient right there. That's a big hill. Uh, yeah. Huge, it's not huge right hill. All right. So yeah, I'm going to let you keep going. Okay. So, I totally so, forgot what my uh, count was, but uh, um, I think it was seven to right there. Seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're seven there. Okay. I'm just going to remove any doubt. Uh, I'm going to do one more CA change. So uh, eight, nine. All right. Well, now I've got to. All right. So it's eight. Nine. Nine. As the Germans would say, you're uber gefugt. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I do. Oh, bloody hell. Wow, that's a, that's a good question. So I want to fire on him right there. Um, with what? Panzer four. Fire with the Panzer four. I mean, you know, I mean, at this point, you know, you've certainly, I, I mean, the question would be is whether you've been in, you know, again, for me, it's the question of am I, you know, have you been in my line of sight in, how long have you been in my line of sight? Right. Right now, you are in my line of sight. I mean, I know even I can tell that. <laughs> but, you know, whether I, whether I was in your line of sight and you three or not, that's going to be the question. And i thinking, I'm going to let you keep going. I'm going to give you another opportunity here. I'm going to change my uh, CA again. I think that's nine. Yep. All right. So now we spend a two. My, my, so that's now down to plus eight. Um, all right, I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you go on. Okay. Uh, you're at nine? nine. You're at nine now. Yep. Seven. No, that's 10. Yeah, that'd be 10. I'm expending seven movement oh, points to okay. go at, uh, hex. So 16. Uh, no, 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 wait a minute. You're, you're doing it. You're doing a covered arc change, right? No, he's gonna move no. straight. Moving straight. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, I'm sorry. You moved. All right, you moved from U4 to there. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Yep. All right. You were in U4. Now you're in T4. Okay. Um. All right. So now you've definitely expended the movement factors in my in my line of sight. 
So you're now up to what? You're up to 16 right there? Correct. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's going to be technically plus two, plus four, one, two, three, four, armor. I've only got A5 in 1942, so don't worry about that. Uh, all right. I'm going to take the shot. All right. Right. Okay, walk, walk me through the math so I know what's coming at me. So, all right, okay, so all right, so you've expended more than three points in that math. Got it. So it's a uh, broken vehicle, so that's a plus one. Yep. Yeah, where are you? You're in. Plus, right. plus plus two. Well, no, go go. Just go down the fire base to hit on your charts first. Just go on the fire base. Okay. Just right there. So, all right. So we'll go. So all right. So we know my range is eleven. We got the line of sight. Okay. So, what are you firing? AP or APCR? I, uh, the the uh, Panzer IVs only have AP. Okay. Um. So um. So I'm I'm, I'm firing AP at you. Uh, all right. So, you're uh, you're not buttoned up. Hexes at eleven hexes. I need a nine. Nine. What? So I'm um, not firing against the fire base. I'm not in. I'm not qualified. Uh, captured CX leaderships. No. Oh. Okay. Right. None of those apply. No covered arc change, no intensive fire, not firing within the hex, and I'm not using APCR, so the 11 are done. Uh, uh, 12 is for light anti tank weapons, so forget that. Uh, the vehicle only, so this would be starts of starts of things I don't want to worry about. I'm not buttoned up. Um, yeah. I am not dropping fire. Um, no, 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 replicable. Yeah, I got it. Not, and I'm not in, under motion. I'm not in motion. So, uh, so none of those cases apply. So the TEM, nope, you're in open ground. There's no hindrances. You are sure. FFMAM or FFMO because you're not infantry. Right, right. Mm -hmm. You're not fired. You're not using hazardous movement. You are a normal size vehicle. True. Okay. So 22 is gone. Not firing area fire at you. Um, so case 24 versus motion vehicle that has expended three or more movement points in my in my line of sight plus two. Okay. okay. Um, and then 25 is a one hex range versus a stop vehicle. So okay. uh, yeah, and you're. Okay. So, so got oh, a plus two. Yeah, plus just two. a plus two. Nine, pretty, pretty simple. Yep, nine plus two. So that's a fairly simple shot. Um, so I roll on the to hit. Boom, I retained rate. Oh, that's going to kill us. And so I got rate on the gun. Where does it hit I, us? Turret. I hit turret. So that is weak for you. So that is an eight. Eight. Eight armor factor. Yeah. Eight factor Oof. for. 75 L at 11 hexes. The base is a 17 minus eight. So I need a nine to kill you. All right, my, my basic to kill number is a nine. Right. Okay, boom. And that'll get us wow. a kill. I guess another kill. And he still has shot rate. So his acquisition moves here. Yep. Which I got to be honest with you, gentlemen. Um, I would not link the acquisition markers to the vehicles. Okay. Um, simply because, uh, like, as you see, the I don't know if you, if you click on your vehicle, click click on yeah. the Panzer yeah. IV. I have it, I have it linked. It so essentially have... it essentially gives you a line of sight. So if we were going to move into O five, got it. Okay. It kind of gives him an already established line of sight that he could just alter. Like if we go to move an M six and he had a question about it, like, that's yeah. obviously clear. Yeah. So um, that's what I would suggest. Um, it can kind of give you a free pseudo line of sight. Um, you know, obviously that one was that was a straight clear shot, but like if that was a T three shot and he had and he had acquis his acquisition was back here. I mean, look at his T three. I mean, that's probably going to be blocked. U three is obviously going to be blocked from that shot, but he was questioning U three. So uh, that's that's something that you. Um, might want to, it is useful, but that's why you have the label on the acquisition markers and you label your tanks. Yep. So Actually, that's just something that I don't use. Um, yeah. But it um, is good. yeah. But uh, now, but, but it can be no. used against you. In yeah. both in both facets, for that matter. Yeah. You know, both it's, facets. You give your opponents like, all right, they can they can now scout positions and right. go. Okay. And they know where where they can move because they know that your line of license is going to be blocked when they didn't have that information before. So, yeah. So just, yeah, I mean, it's not exact because you're not technically drawing from center to center. So right. I mean, but you can at least start to judge things a little bit. A and lot then more. 
right a lot more so just just fyi however you want to play it it's up to you guys that's your game you can play your game the way you want to but um i don't use them i just use the acquisition markers uh so but if you got a you know even if you've got a you know a whole crap load of stuff the, the, the game is so busy anyway does it really reduce the it that much because now you have to draw a line you know you have to remember who's what and you're clicking lines of sight so when you're clicking around your tanks to find out who they're acquired to you're doing the same thing as looking for the, the acquisition markers i mean it's slightly faster but um that's just my opinion um so take it for what it's worth all right so you killed him uh we're down to my my last two tanks that you got there so um all right uh we're gonna move the first tank 17 we're going to go down to y2 for one um all right hold on a moment All right. I'm sure you've been in my line of sight. That's not the issue. The question for me was the, um, you know, was the was the orchard, but that is certainly not the case right now. Um, all right. I'm gonna take a shot at you. All right. Panzer four is going to take a shot at you. Okay. Um. All right. So we'll go ahead. We'll do the line of sight. Oh, barely misses it. Yep. Yep. No. Got it. Range of 16 so, plus two to hit. Yeah, yeah, range of 16 plus two to hit, so I need a seven. Another seven. All right, wow. got a hit on your hull. Um, so that's an 11 at 16 hexes. Um, my base to kill is a 17, so oh. 16 minus 11, I need a six to kill. Okay. Oh, and I'm marking first fire because I did, obviously, I did the right. rate. All right. Okay. So that equals that equals yep. the value, and that was unfortunately a whole hit. So that will immobilize me. So for all intents and purposes, this guy's out of the game. Well, he can shoot. Uh, where are the? Uh, the immobilized are under motion, I think. Oh yeah, it's white. I'm, I'm used to black. Yeah, motions, yeah, you got it. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. All right. Uh, so he's marked as first fire. Right, and you have acquisition on him now. Yes, Oops. now I have acquisition. Not there. I don't know where it was. I think it was S five. No, I think was... he was in T four. Was he in T four? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So there's that guy. So we're gonna take the other vehicle. We're going to go uh one. Uh, let's see. Um, do I want to intensify the vehicle? Hey, hang, hang on just for a second. What, what did first fire against the, why didn't he go first fire when he shot, uh, my T-34? Because I got, I, I got rate. He got rate of fire rolled, on you. I... Okay. Yeah. He rolled yeah. a one. That's, that's where he got the yeah. turd hit and the whole nine yards. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, so I rolled the one on the colored die, so I, I so I got rate just like in like a machine gun. Understood. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I can in theory um attempt to shift and take like I could try to take an intensive fire shot. Correct. Uh, it's gonna be plus five. Uh yeah, it would be at least plus um, five. My line of sight, so yeah, probably would be plus five, probably for the um for the orchard at that point. Right, so you uh, see that, gentlemen? I'm going to be moving. That'll give us plus two. Intensifier yeah. will be plus two on top of that. And the Orchard most likely will interfere with that as well. At least uh, one of them. Yeah, I, I, at least one of them will do it. So it would be plus five, so I need a nine. I need a four. Um, but I'm thinking... Um, and I'm thinking I'm probably somewhat ahead of the game at the moment, so... I don't think I want to try to break the gun at this point, so right. I, I will let you go. All right. Two. Three. Three. Yep. Four. Five. Six. Seven. 
Eight. Okay. Nine. Um, okay. This is going to be tight. Uh... We're going to go, um... Uh, five movement pack points to for fourteen. Um. Okay, fourteen to there. Actually, we'll go. Uh, uh, yeah, let's see how many. Fourteen. Hold on a sec. I need to be. Uh, we'll go. Uh, thir uh, thirteen there. Thirteen to there. Yeah. Um. So it'd be four. I think four movement points. Thirteen. Um. Okay. Um. I don't. I think I've, I, I know, I don't think I, none of my tanks have line of sight. I don't think any of his tanks have line of sight either. So, all right. I go ahead. Yep. 13. 14. Um, all right. Now you're beginning to slip in. Um, um, go ahead. 15. All right, now you're definitely there, and you're... And we'll change our turret. Change your turret to there, 15. Um, okay, yeah, go ahead. Stop for 16. All right. And that's it? Yeah. Okay. Defensive fire. fire. All right. Um, Damn. You need all the shots in the first, the first part of the turn. That would have been really nice. Been yeah. Really I nice. You want, to, you want to take your shots first? Well, I was thinking if you took that Y2 shot first, that might change my mind about my Tiger's okay. target. All right. So what, 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 do you, so what, 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 what are you looking at right now? All right. So you've got acquisition. Your tank on Y2 has acquisition on his vehicle down in uh, G8. Yeah. Yeah. I've got an acquisition and you've got an acquisition. So right. question is is right okay so, so if, if you take that shot that might change my mind about what i'm going to use to what i'm going to shoot the tiger at oh yeah all right so that's the tiger um okay well considering he has got the shot i guess um if you want it if not i'll take it um i think i would well i mean we're both going to need nines to hit oh, sorry. Sorry uh about that probably both need nines to hit um so i suppose um i've been mm, okay um yeah that's actually kind of a good question i'm not really sure which which guy should take the shot um it's so easy to hit these tanks it's ridiculous yeah i mean uh i'm only thinking that that if the tiger if i if if i miss you can obviously fire uh the tiger can shoot here Okay, you know, I mean, you know, I mean, he stopped. I mean, you, you, yeah, technically you lose acquisition. You do lose the minus one, but but I know I can't hit this guy and I can't hit this guy. Um, you know, I can hit him, um, but he's moving. So I think this is probably the easiest target for me to hit right now, whereas you have a couple, you at least have one other target that might be fairly easy to hit. Yeah, and I'd like to shoot at G6 as much as possible since he's got a minus two acquisition on you yep on all right v9, so okay so all right so why not all right so i'm gonna take, so you want me to take the shot first it, it, yeah if, if yeah okay. if you can all right. Yeah. all right i'll go ahead i'll take the shot all right so um i need a all right so all right so i'm gonna shoot first the pans uh the panzer four is gonna shoot here uh the plus one acquisition uh the minus one acquisition is canceled by the plus one for the uh for the orchard so i need a nine to hit um all right i got a hit uh whole hit um so that's um 11. 17 yeah 11 yeah and it's 11 17 so i need a six to kill yep all right so the six to kill all right got five nice. boom wow so that's a possible shock no, so, I got more than the yeah five. 
Five's five. out, right, Rick. Yep. Yeah, I needed I needed a seventeen to kill minus eleven, so I needed a six was six was my my kill number. So I rolled less than the kill number, so you're just eliminated. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. So all right, so all right, so the acquisition there. Okay, so uh, I am marked as all right. So I could, in theory, intensive fire, but you know, I'm thinking I'm I'm tempting fate. So I'm just going to mark myself as final fire and pass it over to you, Steve. Okay. Excuse me. So we'll take uh, the shot from the Mark Four that's in BB Six first that has acquisition on the tank in G Six. I think we checked this before. I think it's a range of 21. Uh, yeah, it'll be an 8. A 9. God, oh, just God. so easy to hit God. tanks. It's not God. even funny. Yeah, just, just, misses, just misses the Tiger Tanks hex, too. Just barely misses it, so. Oh, really? Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't even check that. So, wow. so that's a base hit of eight with a minus one acquisition. Yeah. So that's a uh, whole hit with a. That's uh, another six, right? Yep. A six yep. is the two kill number. Hey, yeah. we survived no one shot. One out of four is not bad. All right, so we'll drop a final on him. I don't know that I'm going to intensive fire. Um, so then Good we'll Lord. try that same shot, but we'll use the Tiger in Y7. 2G6. Is that the right hex? No, that is right there. Okay, so that's a range of 18. Yep, so now your hit's a nine. So and I have no acquisition. So it's yep. on, on that particular vehicle. So that should just be a that's a straight nine. So we'll roll nine it. Nine to hit. hit. Wow. I hope that's not an error. Jeez. At eighteen hexes, yeah. Oof, and I broke the gun. Oh yay! Yay! Oh, for all the good you did, Mark. That's what I get. Really? Hold yeah. on a sec. Nine? That's... Oh, because they add the L. They, they incorporate the L into the gun. Oh, that's good, Lord. That's that's why it looks so weird. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's, yeah. that's why your numbers... Yeah. You're that's, why, the, that's why I hate the SK charts, because they just add everything in for you, which is... I got to be honest with you. I don't think it should do that. Simply yeah. because you have other modifiers. And I just think, yeah, but hey, that's all right. Wow. Yeah, I decided not to explain to anybody the differences between the L's and the double it's, L's. And that's, I, 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 understand, I understand why they did it, you know. But all it is is one more modifier. That's all it is. Yeah, I know. And it's, but I, and I, it's easy I, to adjust. Yeah, I can see why they wanted But I can still see why they wanted to, right. to take it out. So, I mean, yeah, they, they, not, uh, the one that I think they should have taken out was the APCR plus one to hit. I think that's pretty erroneous. Yeah. The okay. same sort of thing. But, yeah, it's cool. Whatever. Okay. And so what Find the marker to mark my main armament. Uh, Ma mouth along the top row. It's it's, it's yeah, I uh, got it there. yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. You, you can use one if you want. Yeah. There you go. Oh, wrong one. Yeah. It's yep. a tiger. Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. I guess I put that there. Too. Well, that makes it. Wow. That's, That's good. That that changes things. A little bit. No, not by much. You got prep fired. You need like 13s to hit us. So yeah. it doesn't change too much. But yeah, it does. It does. It, well, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Just one, it's one less tank we have to worry about shooting back at us. Right. Well, I mean, yeah. Just for now. Yeah. Yeah, for the moment, yeah. You can always try to try to repair it. But um, okay. So, all right. You got one more tank there, there Steve. Re re redeem. Redemption. <laughs> yeah, I need something here. Um. So I'm trying to decide. So if I take the tank in V9, I can probably let's see if I changed his turret covered art to take another shot at G6. That would give me a better shot than shooting at that guy in the building, right? Uh, yeah, it would just be just be plus one. 
uh, be just yeah, it would just be plus one uh, for the for the turret change. Um, so you probably would need an eight to hex because it's probably less than eighteen hexes. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's definitely less than 18 wow. hexes. Yeah, so it'd be it, so you change the cover dark to be eight to hit. You wanted to fire at at the at the tank in the building. You probably would need a so probably plus five. Two. Yeah, because you have yeah. that plus, it's moving and plus two for them. So we're gonna take the turret covered arc, I guess, one hex spine, and take a shot at G six. Okay. Let's see here. Make sure I get the range. So it's a range of 15. And it's, a, I guess, a base nine with a plus one for the turret covered arc. Yep, turret covered arc change. Yep. All right. All right. All right. Got a hit. So that's a, a whole hit. Yeah. So you'll need another. So it's another. Uh, it's another six is the two kill number. Yeah. Six kill number. Box cars. All right. Well, you got a seven, so that is a possible shock. Right. All right. Roll your morale check, John. No tens. There we go. All right. Looking pretty. All right. So all right. So your acquisition. Yeah. Your acquisition. Yeah. Your acquisition moves to there, and you final fired. Just, just as a note for everybody, remember that in the defensive fire phase, you can only intensive fire at adjacent targets, and right. only if you're marked as first fired. So, uh, okay. So you only get the one shot. You, I mean, unless you get, unless you keep rain, obviously, you, 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 you don't get to intensive fire, defensive fire phase, unless you are marked as first fired and your target is adjacent. Yeah, that's the balance issue. That's all it is. All right, so that's it for I think that's it for the defensive fire phase. Oh, whew. that's all I got. Good lord, we yep, need some was, super uh, low rolls. Super low rolls. I was hoping the sixes would bounce off. Uh, all right, I am going to shoot R10 at your tiger. Don't know if there's an LOS, so I'm going to have to zoom out on this bad boy. Oh my god. Wow, what's what that is oh, amazing. Oh, R9 is just clipping you. Oh R9? yeah, I see the red. Yeah, I see the red right there. I can't what's I, an R9 is just clipping you. Yep. I, wow. I, I can't get rid of that. I can't get rid of the thing there. Wow. That's wow. amazing. That, that's that's impressive. Okay. Okay. All right. okay. Oh shit, my thing just bugged me. Almost. Uh, I know. I, know I, I looked at when I look at the shot. It's like, oh man, those woods are a little bit too deep. But yeah, yeah. That, that would be. Oh wow. my god! All right, Stu. I mean, yeah, that 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 would have been an incredible line of sight if you if you had this it. little bullshit wedge right there. So, oh my god. Okay, that's all right. All right. I figure that's the only yeah. shot I got, so I might as well try it. And uh, it, if you it, took the line of sight there, Stu. You got to you got to roll it. Yeah, it looked kind of close. Look kind of close. Oh, there we go. Wow. That would have missed anyway. Now, now there's boy, you blasted that oak tree into a yep. thousand. <laughs> so is it clear? So is it clear line of sight now, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very cool. All right, so wow. what we will do then is we will fire uh, this unit here in 04. He will fire. Uh... Oh, what the hell? He will fire on Y2. He will okay. fire the um, coaxial machine gun first. Okay, so that's uh, what four, four up two. Uh, two, uh, two up two. Uh, coax. Oh, Co your coax guns are two or four. Oh, uh, they're four, but I moved. Oh, that's right, you moved. Yeah. So okay. that's two up two. Two. Oh, not to kill. Eleven. That's a miss. And we'll fire main armament. Uh, would you fire to hit? A little bit of miss, but we have acquisition on them from there.
Okay, I'll do uh, advanced fire from uh, J8 to uh, BB6 with the coax machine gun. Line of sight. I see one hindrance. Yep. From what? I don't know. The tank. Okay. Yeah, the tiger tank's your the tiger tank's a hindrance. Okay. It's okay. It's a one up three. We'll take it. We'll take everything. Because okay. you're half you're half for moving and half for advanced fire, so that's fine. Okay. You're, you're half, right, half for half for advancing fire and then half for long range. Okay. Nothing. And then uh, main armament fire. Eh, closer, but not enough. Not bad. You got acquisition so, on though. Okay. That's all good. Yep. All right. And then you've got another tank in the in the uh, in the building. the building. Oh, that's right. Uh, Given the covered arc, I'm going to shoot at uh, BB-6 again. Okay. This time uh, with uh, both machine guns, nothing. It's all right. All right. Main armament. Ooh. Ooh. That's, that's possible. I don't think it's probable, but it's possible. 1, 2, oh. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 hexes. We need an 8. Or plus five, plus five from buttoned up. Or plus five, plus one. If you're one hex close, well, it doesn't matter. If you're one hex close, you still would have been eight. Just the button, oh, well. up, the button up status kind of screws us. Okay, so you got. Is that right? Hold on. Eight, base eight. What? Wait. Eight? Yeah, eight. Base eight. eight to five. Hit. Yeah, we need. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah, so it's plus, right, plus one for buttoned up. Yeah. And then. Bounding fire, so it's plus four, right? So it's plus five. So you need a you need a three. And he doesn't get rate of fire at all in the advanced fire phase, correct? Yeah, that is correct. Yep. And yep. So, yep. so it was not close. Damn good shot. Damn good shot, now, John. Now, now, now there's two uh, minus one. Uh, yeah, you want to label them? They're from different. Yeah. What, uh, I, what well, I usually do since the... since the density of counters isn't that big a deal, I do something like this. I, okay. I do something like that's, this. This is the bottom tank. Yeah. That's the top tank. Yeah. And, it's, it's, uh, and I think this works. tank, I think that tank has acquisition to this guy here. So we'll go. Um, it does. Yeah. If, he, if he's still alive. <laughs> yeah. You know, but so. But that, okay. that's what I usually do when you don't have a lot of counter density. You don't have to worry too much about it. Right. All right. Just because so I like to see the pretty, the pretty aspects of the tanks. Take preps, take the depths off. Um, so we're out. I mean, that was, that was the last shot, right? Yeah, last shot. Yes. All right. Let's go yeah. route, advance, no close combat. All right. We move the counter over to German turn two. Right. Nice. All right. And we'll save for there, gentlemen. Uh, exciting yeah. turn. Lots of new things that we learned today. Um, we learned that uh, Germans yeah, can, like tanks, but, uh... <laughs> can hit us pretty easily. So one thing mm -hmm. you probably take takeaway in this one is uh, as the Russians – you probably either want to blanket an area and stop all your tanks on turn one, just so you could just try and destroy some of these Panzer floors, or hide them all. So, but it's a it, this is just an exercise in pushing counters on the map, and and we're just going to continue figuring out and figuring out hits. You know, figuring yeah, out, figuring yeah. out things, the line of sights, the way movement points are expended. This is the reason why we're doing this. We're not necessarily doing this to win or lose. That's probably the primary reason why I drove through the woods over there on the side. Well. Other than that's an, another decent move, simply because I'm not going to get shot at him first. But it kind of puts me out of the battle for it a little bit. But those are the choices that you make. Fun game so far. Um, uh, we lost four tanks. They got I, they actually got pretty lucky on their to kill shots on their sixes. I mean, the big boy missed us, so they, they had to roll less than six on other tanks. So we got a little unlucky. Maybe next turn we'll get lucky. We'll see what happens, gentlemen. All right? All right, then. Sounds good. Have a good one. Thanks for thanks for joining, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. Again, great questions early, and I'm going to do some follow up on that. 
uh, on the first fire question and things like that. So big questions, big questions this week. Yeah. Right, thank you, gentlemen. Right, means, uh, yeah, thanks, guys. Have a great week. Out here. Take care, you too. Thanks for watching this episode. It is a again a replay, a learning replay of the armor in the system. We made some errors here. My interpretations were wrong a couple places, but that's why we have Mark and the other resources that we have here, John and the other guys. So we're I think we're having fun. We're learning lots. Follow the charts along with the sh with the shots so you can make sure that you're not missing any modifiers or in case we're missing modifiers or techniques and things like that. But thanks for joining us. Hopefully we'll get lucky like we did at the end of this turn with that German tank rolling a 12. You never know what's going to happen in this game. And with that German tank rolling a 12, at least we don't have to worry about taking it out. We, that's essentially one last tank we have to worry about. Would we like to kill it? Sure. But now we can prioritize the easier tanks to kill. See you next time on Tactical Tuesday.